I dug up a rhubarb plant to plant a hibiscus, which should get to be four to five feet tall and maybe three to four feet wide. I've been wanting a hibiscus for a long time, perennial hibiscus. And, I don't know, the rhubarb is getting root bound anyway. It has rained uh, 2.1 inches this morning. As you see, the field has lakes in it. We've had years before, we've had water birds out there in those lakes. The garden is a soggy, soggy mess. No water standing, but um, it needs to dry out, and I don't think it's going to dry out for a while. There's the red potatoes that are coming up now. The broccoli doesn't seem to mind this wet, cool weather. And how's my yu choy doing? Oh, it's growing. It's growing. I think it's supposed to be about, oh, it's really coming up, about four inches tall before, before you start harvesting it. And the lettuce and spinach also, also like this cooler, wet weather. It's a good thing Stan mounded up the lima beans and uh, he mounted the corn, he mounted the peppers. That way the water is mostly in between the rows instead of on top of them. Since I put bark around my ground cherries, they did fine. No mud at all. Put some bark around a few of my perennials. This I still need to plant. Over here. The end of our lane is flooded. And we have a waterfall going into the ditch. Update on that cherry tree we planted. It looks like it is getting new leaves. That's a great sign and it even has a couple cherries on it. Not sure those are going to make it. Four o'clock in the afternoon and we've now had two and a half inches of rain. The lake is expanding. The garden is, well, even soggier than it was before. This needs to stop. <laughs> needs to stop. And to the west we have an actual flowing river 